Um, next to this is another Jacob Lawrence. He painted, uh, this is a study for a mural uh, for New York State on the theme of community. Now this again, is hard to see unless we come up a little bit closer to it. Um, how is the mood of this piece maybe a little bit different from the mood of this piece? Lighter, everyone's together. Lighter, everyone's together, okay. So there's not that big wall in the middle. Lots of smiles. Smi yes, really exaggerated smiles in the faces of the people. Sort of a sense of cooperation. People are bringing their tools, somebody's already started working. So it's a cooperative, productive, you know, environment of creation. It's not so, so much social yes. versus professional, if yes. for lack of a better term. And then the other contrast we can draw on this wall is this piece over here. This is later. This is 1962. Um, and it's interesting having it in the context of other works by African American artists, especially dealing with civil rights, um, because it is, of course, very different. It's abstract. Um, how can you read, in fact, come up closer. I'm sorry to make you keep moving, but you really need to see. Um, what do you notice about this piece here? Red, white, and blue. Okay, so a red, white, and blue we associate with America, American flags. We're we looking at regionalism here in the United States. I don't know. Yeah, each color is in its own area. So how do you, where does the United States fit into this? Where do you see that? Red, white, and blue, but, okay. but then I can take West Coast, I can take the North, the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic, the Southeast. So are you saying you see the shape of the country? In if the... you want to see it, you can, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is the joy of abstract art. Uh, you <laughs> no, you're not, you're not the only one to see the, the shape of the country um, in, the, in the color. So maybe we're looking at regional differences. Knowing that this is about civil rights, does anything start to emerge with, with the colors? Mm. Upside down peace symbol? Oh, like abstract Klansmen. <laughs> abstract Klansmen. Can you point any out specifically? That kind of, I don't know. It just that kind of strikes me. Horseback yeah. there, and then yeah. this turns into yeah. flames when you put. Okay, so if the white maybe represents the white robes of the Klan, what might the other colors start to represent? Blood. Flame. Flame. Smoke. Smoke. Absolutely. So the red, white, and blue is kind of transformed into something very different. The title of the work is Evening Rendezvous. Why choose the title Evening Rendezvous rather than, you know, Meeting of the Clan? Sounds a lot better. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds better in what way? It doesn't sound bad. Yeah. It it's like, it, it's like a social... Nothing bad's happening. Nothing bad's it's happening, okay. right. It's part of what's going on, yeah. And then they did things in secret. I mean, if, they, if people knew they were coming, they were probably wrong. 